Okay, we're going to try to do a boat problem here. And uh, when we have a boat problem, um, we'll have a, a river. Let's see if I can draw a river in here. And uh, the way that we designate uh, vectors in boat problems is from the straight across. So if we uh, draw a, uh, a straight across here, let's see if we can do that. There's going to be straight across. And uh, so we can either be um, upstream from that. We can be coming upstream all the way directly upstream, which would be 90 degrees from the straight across. Or we can go uh, downstream. We can draw vectors in down here, uh, downstream from the straight across. So we can go 90 degrees downstream up to 90 degrees upstream. And that's the only ways that we describe uh, vectors on our uh, on our river problems. So in this particular problem here, it says we have a motorboat trying to travel 8 meters per second in still water at a heading of 25 degrees upstream. So we know we're going to be going upstream at 25 degrees and trying to go at 8 meters per second. But it says that there's a river flowing at a rate of 3 meters per second. And of course, rivers flow downstream. And uh, so I want to figure out what will be the resultant speed and direction of the boat. So I need to draw in a vector here that represents 8 meters per second um, at heading at 25 degrees upstream. So I'm going to try to try to draw in, let's, uh, let's do our vectors in yellow here. I'm going to try to draw in a vector um, and we'll We'll go like that and we'll call it here at, uh, so there's our vector. And uh, this angle here is going to be uh, 25 degrees. So 25 degrees. And uh, <clears throat> we know that there's going to be another vector that's uh, the river is going to be going down 3 meters per second. So how long should I make this? Well, this vector here is 8, technically 8.0. We'll just call it 8. Didn't do that very good. I'm still getting used to this whole drawing thing. 8, well, that's kind of cute. Um, and uh, we're going to have a 3 meters per second vector uh, that's going to be added on to this. We add our vectors tail head, tail head. So we're going to have a 3 meter per second. Horrible. Got to figure out how to do this. Let's try to draw a straight line there. Yeah, that's better, I guess. And there we go. And this is 3 meters per second. And um, coming down this way. So we're going to have a resultant. And uh, let's, let's see if we can figure out some angles here. If I have a, if I draw in kind of another parallel line right across here, like this, then if this is 25 degrees, then I know that this angle here is also 25 degrees. And if that angle is 25 degrees, this angle here added to 25 degrees needs to be 90. And so this angle right in here, needs to be 65 degrees. And so we have that angle there. And we're going to draw in our resultant. Our resultant goes from the tail of the first to the head of the last. So that will come right up to here like that. There's our resultant. Draw in a head of an arrow there. And uh, so I need to figure out what this resultant magnitude is. And all I need is a side, an angle, and a side. Side, angle, side, which I have right there. So I can just do the uh, law of cosines, and I'll do it out here to the side. Um, this vector here, the resultant vector, um, which we'll designate like this, um, is going to be equal to the square root of uh, 8 squared plus 3 squared minus 2 times 3 times 8 um, times the cosine 
of the angle in the middle, which is 65 degrees. So I can figure out the result of the law of cosines in this case. And uh, if I do that, I'm going to get, uh, and you should try this too on your calculator, 7.3 meters per second. And that makes sense because we can technically go 8 meters per second, but we're fighting against the river, and the river is coming down at 3. If we were going straight up the river at 8 and cut the river is coming back down at 3, we'd only be able to go um, up the river at 5 meters per second. That's what would be clocked by some person um, over here that's standing you know, on the side of the side of the river bank. And uh, so if I'm going at an angle, I'm still kind of fighting the river. And uh, so I can only actually be going 7.3 uh, meters per second. So that makes uh, somewhat sense. Now I need to figure out um, what is the angle of this vector. What is this vector direction? Because this is just a magnitude. And if I, without a direction, this isn't actually a vector quantity. So I need to figure out how many degrees upstream is this vector right here. So I need to actually figure out what is this angle right here from degrees upstream. Well, I know it's 25 all the way from the red line all the way up to this first vector. And so if I could figure out this angle right in here, then I could take this angle from 25 and I would know this angle here. So how do I figure out this angle here? Well, I can use the law of sines in this triangle. And I could say the sine of, uh, the sine of theta, which we'll call this angle right here theta over its opposite side, which is 3, would equal the sine of some other angle, which we have, sine of 65, um, all over the side that we just found. So the sine of 65 over this opposite side, which is uh, 7.3. And if we uh, figure out, uh, if we sine of 65 times 3 divided by 7.3 and then take the inverse sine, uh, we'll get an angle of... Um, It'd be about 20, uh, 22 degrees approximately. So the angle here would be about 22 degrees. And so uh, we know that it's 25 all the way up to here, and that this angle is 22. 25 minus 22 equals about 3 degrees. So 7.3 meters per second, we could say at... 3.1 is what it comes out to be exactly, I think, if you do your math. 3.1 degrees, and we always need to then put on upstream. We always have to put on an upstream or a downstream, and the angle is always going to be measured from this red line, the straight across. So I'm going to go so many degrees upstream to the vector, or so many degrees downstream to the vector. We don't do anything like measuring from north or anything on this uh, on this particular particular stuff. So there's a boat problem and I hope uh, that made somewhat uh, sense. Um, let's try to do another one. Let's see if I can kind of scroll down here and uh, see if I can get this to work here. We'll put in a, a new text. And let's see here. Yeah, that would be good, I think. Okay, so this time we have a boat needs to cross a river on a course of 25 degrees upstream to a beach at a rate of 5 meters per second. This is what it needs to do. So we'll get some water here. And we'll get a, whoops, we'll get our river. Try to make this a little bit bigger here. Because I'm practicing with my pen. And so here's a river, and uh, we'll do our, we'll kind of draw our straight across. And so all vectors are going to be described from that, from that straight across uh, uh, vector there. <clears throat> okay. Um, and so what we have here is we have a boat needs to cross the river on a course of 25 degrees upstream to a beach at a rate of 5 meters per second. So this is, this is what it needs to do. It has to end up doing this. So we're going to go ahead and draw that in. That's going to actually be our resultant, um, our resultant vector. Um, 
There we go. So this is going to be uh, 5 meters per second is what this needs to be. And uh, this angle here is uh, 25 degrees. <clears throat> and uh, it, the, the problem is there's a ri the river's flowing down, of course, at 3.10 meters per second. So if this, this boat needs to do this, I mean, there's a dock. You know, there's a dock here, you know. And this is a boat. The boat's right here, and it needs to get along from here to here. It has to get to that dock. So if it needs to get to that dock and it knows that there's a river flowing down this way, the current's going down, then we're going to actually have to kind of head out at something a little bit higher. So then the river will get added to that to bring us back down to this particular resultant. So this is the hardest part about them, these problems, is trying to figure out what the problem is saying um, on this one. This 5 meters per second is actually the resultant that we have to have. So we're going to actually have to uh, kind of uh, start out at a heading kind of a little higher, something up to like here, and uh, something like this, which we don't know what that is. And then we're going to uh, have the river added on to that, which uh, brings us, you know, kind of back down to this dock here like so. And uh, we know that this is uh, 3.10 uh, meters per second. This one's 5. And uh, <clears throat> I, could draw a, uh, I could draw a dotted line in here. Um, I have to figure out how to draw a little dotted line next time. But uh, if I draw Let's see, I'm going to try to sketch it in here, which could be really bad. Okay, that's terrible. Uh, let's undo that. As I figure out, later on I'll figure out how to draw a dotted line. So right now I'm just going to go ahead and draw a, uh, draw a line right through here that's parallel to that uh, red line. And I know that if this is 25 degrees um, right here, then this must be 25 degrees right here. This has to be 25 degrees too, alternate interior angles there. And uh, um, and this is 90 degrees, so 90 plus 25 means this entire angle right here would be um, 115, 115 degrees. So um, I have side angle side, which means I can figure out the magnitude of this uh, this vector up here that I would have to be going. So I'm going to have to go faster than 5 meters per second because I'm going to be fighting some river. So I need to be going faster than 5 meters per second so that a person out here on the side of the uh, river would actually be clocking my boat, actually going along this path at 5 meters per second, even though I'm trying to keep my boat headed up this way at a higher velocity. So I can use, again, uh, um, the law of cosines, if I want to find out this resultant uh, vector right here, this resultant would uh, equal, um, again, the square root of 5 squared plus 3.10 squared minus 2 times 5 times 3.1 that looks a little deceiving. Do it that way. Times the cosine of 115. <clears throat> I'm trying to get better at this. And if we put that all in our math, this was 3 sig figs. The 5.00 is 3 sig figs. Everything is in 3 sig figs. So our uh, resultant vector, the magnitude of it, will be... Uh, approximately 6.91 meters per second. You should check that in your calculator and make sure that that's right. And that, I think, makes sense because we need to clearly be going faster than the 5 because um, we're fighting against the river and the river is working against us, to which will bring us at 5 meters per second along this path here. So I want to figure out what is the angle. Where is this particular resultant vector? Well, it was 25 degrees up to this vector, so we know it has to be even more further up from the red all the way up to this resultant vector here. So all we need to do really is figure out what is this angle right here. 
and I messed that up. Let's see what I just do there. Okay. Um, so I need to figure out what this angle is right here. Okay. And uh, the way I can do that is the law of sines again. So I could do uh, sine of 115 over um, 6.91 would equal the sine of the angle I'm trying to figure out uh, over its opposite side, 3.10. And uh, so if I do the math on that, I should get uh, theta equaling uh, about 24.0 degrees. That'd be this angle right here. And so if we add that on to a 25, uh, then this vector would be 6.91 meters per second at um, approximately 49.0 degrees upstream. You always have to put upstream or downstream in relationship to the uh, straight across uh, line. We're either going to go downstream from that red line or upstream from that red line. And uh, so that is another uh, boat problem. And uh, hopefully that makes sense. Um, and we've uh, proven that we know how to do these. So um, you can watch this over again. And if you have any questions more on the boat problem, then... Uh, come see me.